Hi guys, today I'll try to answer one common question which is how much for the ring job in M54 engine? To answer that question I will have to divide it in two groups, DIY and non-DIY. DIYer will pay zero for his labor. Non-DIYer in London will pay from 800 pounds or more. Those fees depends on location and weather outside. DIYer can spend more time sourcing parts and research actually to save more money. DIYer can take his time doing this project from two days, two weeks, two months, how long he wants. Non-DIYer will have to wait for the phone call. DIYer have eye contact with his engine and he knows what have been done. Non-DIYer have only telephone contact to his garage. DIYer can do many other jobs, not only piston rings. Valve lapping on the cylinder head, new stem seals, checking the clearances, checking the warpage, cleaning the head. Only thing he can't do is skimming the head. That's job for the machine shop. Machine shop will charge you from 40 to 60 pounds for the skimming, depends how many cylinders you got. If your crankshaft is cord, you will pay from 10 to 15 pounds for each journal to be polished. If you have excessive wear on the cylinder walls, you will have to replace the liners, that's 120 pounds for each. non DA wire will have to pay only for what he ordered. And here you have some estimated parts, prices you will need for this project. Really guys, the wire will pay I think three times less for the rebuild of his engine, not just the piston rings. I think he can do everything mostly without uh, machine shop involved. But most of the jobs you can watch my other videos. You can do it yourself. If there's like bigger problem, like I said before, you can actually or the like, second hand block, if there's like big problem, there's no point to change the liners, you can just take different uh, block or cylinder head. But every, if everything is fine, like in my engine was, piston rings, bearings, new seals, that's it. The non-DIY will pay, I think, about 1000 roughly between, it can be more. But average up is about 1,000 pounds, I don't know, dollars, euros for, for the labor of the garage labor, not including machine shop. If there's a problem machine shop, it's a different, com completely different story. If there's no problem, just 50, 60 pounds uh, for the skimming plus garage labors, and I think about if you're doing just piston rings, piston rings is about 100 to 120 pounds in UK. I managed to get them cheap because, like I said, I spend more time on research. That's why I ordered them from Germany, 30% cheaper. If you decide to do just piston rings, you still need to have some other bits and pieces. Of course, new head gasket, new head bolts, you can't use the old bolts. Same as the connecting rod bolts for the caps. You can't use the same ones because you just cannot use the same ones and that's it. It will be nice to change the timing chain, which is not expensive. Maybe 
new rocker cover gasket, maybe shaft seal, front, back, whatever. Maybe oil pan gasket. That's what I did. That's what I did in the price of little ass. So, do your own calculation. What do you want to do? You want to do it yourself or not? If you're going to do it yourself, you will spend more money on parts and preparation tools. If you're not going to do it yourself, you will pay the bill. Depends on the location, on the weather, or the guy's mood. Go! I know this is not the best answer, but it gives you some light on this topic, on this uh, question people ask me. I don't recommend just pulling the pistons out, replacing the, the rings and putting them back in. Job done. That will that will do, but there's no bits and pieces required to do it properly. You need to hound the block. To hound the block. In this particular engine, this car model, because engine lies like this, you cannot really hound the cylinders at this angle, at this uh, access to it, because it's just just terrible access. Maybe very hard job to solve for DIYer, but for non-DIYer might be very painful. Guys, if you have any question, please give me comments. Ask in the comments. Uh, you can contact me through my website, Elbow Blues DIY. You can view my uh, my small blog. You can view the same videos you're watching on my channel you can download a few stuff I will be keep adding new stuff in my website as well as my channel so if you're interested please visit my website link is below and uh, see you next time thank you